Shalom, shalom. Most high in Christ, bless. How's the audio and video? How was the audio and video? Shalom, shalom. Most high in Christ bless you all. Brother Josiah, shalom. Most high Christ bless you. Hmm. All praises. Thank you, sir. Oh, um, Sister Judith, all praises. Sister Zivette, Shalom, most high Christ bless you. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll get started. Mm. And somebody uh, said something here and Scripture popped in my mind. Hold on. Shalom, shalom. Good morning to you all. Hope all is well in this captivity. Brother Pablo, shalom, shalom. We'll get started in a few. Will Facebook won't act up? <laughs> didn't any, didn't think anybody uh, was listening. Where's the smooth jazz at this morning? Okay, Lord's will. Um, I'll put on some smooth jazz <clears throat> before I start. I know uh, my son has got the music playing. But well, Lord's will next, next time. All right, um, let's get started. Brothers face Jerusalem, sisters, all face Jerusalem. Brothers, uncover your heads, sisters, uncover your heads. Heavenly Father, Lord God, Lord, we come before you, actually, forgive us for our sins, Lord. Blot out all our transgressions, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive our forefathers and foremothers their sins, Lord. Lord, have mercy on us and have grace on us, Lord. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to bless our class that will edify the people, Lord. Lord, watch over the leadership, Lord, that they may be safe. Protect them, Lord, and guide them. 
God, all Israel, Lord, protect them, Lord, that keep your commandments. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Shalom, shalom. I am Osa Kabar, IOIC, Las Vegas. Hold on a minute, y'all. I hope all is, everybody's doing well. Um, before I start class, how many new people are on that have been with us three months or less? How many people have been with us three months or less? I understand there's a uh, there's a delay, but how many new people are watching this morning? There's a reason why I'm asking that. It's always a reason. Um, one of the reasons is uh, our level of teaching is increasing. Oh, okay. All, all praise. How about six months or less? How about six months? How many people have been with us six months or less? All praises, all praises. All right. Um, the level of our teaching is increasing. And sometimes we forget that there are new people watching and we get on a roll. However, uh, we cannot neglect to feed the people, to feed the sheep. And, um, but also our people online now make them realize how, what a great, great time it is right now for Israel to find the truth after be, being in the darkness of this world, all in all religions, doctrines, Okay, all praise, all praise the most high. Um, the title of this class is We Can See Clearly Now. Oh, I need a scribe. I need one of your brothers to scribe. Getting ahead of myself. Hold on a minute. Bear with me. Hold on a minute. Oh, uh, everybody can see in here. They still. Uh, how can I get involved? Uh, come is a school. Go on uh, israelnight.org forward slash contact us and find out if there's a school near you. Lord's will there is. And call. Call and join and come and keep the commandments of God.
Hold on a minute, y'all. This thing is uh I need a scribe. Did anybody respond? Okay. I need a scribe. I need a brother to scribe. Oh, brother Josiah. Okay, all praise. All praise. Thank you, sir. Um, okay. Uh, before we start class, uh, to read this is we are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel United in Christ is a nonviolent Bible based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone, or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities to bring awareness to any possible threat as stated in Leviticus 5 and 1. All right. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a shame that the impression of IOIC specifically is that we are hate group. Um, this goes with the title of the class, the top of the class, we can see clearly now. Once you understand who you are in God's eyes and where the nation stand, and as you grow in the spirit, uh, we don't have time to hate nothing. We don't have time for it. We're too busy loving our nation. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that again. We don't have time to hate nothing. We have to spend our time loving the Most High in Christ and our people. All right, I just, I wanna put that out there. All right, so uh, let's get started at Romans 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So the things that were written aforetime are the scriptures. They were written for our learning, so we can learn how to conduct ourselves, how to navigate in this captivity through the instructions that the Most High gave us. He only gave to us. Um, here's an example. Let's go to Deuteronomy 4 and 44. Deuteronomy 4 and 44. Just get to, uh, some time to get to Deuteronomy 4 and 44. And it says, And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moses spake unto the children of Israel after they came forth out of Egypt. 
So these laws, statutes, and commandments were only given to the Israelites. They were only given to the Israelites. Um, hold on. Psalms 147, verse 19. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Do you realize what advantage, advantage it is to be given the laws of statutes, commandments, only to us, the Israelites. All right, um, just. That is an advantage. Uh, let's give me, let's go to Romans three. Romans 3 and verse 1. Romans 3 and 1. Uh, because in the uh, world, especially Christianity, we've been taught that God loves everybody. This Bible is for everybody. No, the word is for everybody. Jesus is for everybody. No. Back to the topic of the class, we can see clearly now. Hmm. Romans 3 and 1. What advantage had then the Jew? Or what profit is there in circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. The word of God is given to the Israelites. Hmm. So yeah, we have an advantage. We have an advantage. Yes, God gave us the wisdom. He gave us his jewels, his treasures. The Israelites. So, let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And these are the scriptures you will never hear in the Christian church. You will never hear in the Christian church. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hmm. So before coming into the truth, we were walking around blind. We were walking around blind, not knowing who we are, especially in God's eyes, who we are and how special we are to him. Hmm. So again, we're in the world with blinders on, not knowing who we are, or who our God is, only to come into the truth and realize, wait a minute, you mean to tell me that we've been lied to all these years? Yes. You mean to tell me that Rev has been lying all this time? Yes. And the Bible says contradictory what that we've been taught? Yes. Welcome to the truth. And here we are. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, if I see any foolishness, I'm getting blocked. I see any foolishness. 
Um, yes. So we are special in God's eyes. We are the chosen. We are the chosen people, the chosen seed, the chosen nation. Um, but something happened. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. That is correct, brother. Brother, I'm going to get your name right. Holodah. You are correct. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Most High said, you don't listen to do what I say. I'm going to jack you up. Imagine this. As a good father should and must, he punishes his children when they don't obey him. Again, a good father punishes his children when they don't obey him. Uh, I'm not talking about this new uh, millennial, whatever, way of raising children. And that's why a lot of people are raising monsters. They are raising monsters. So the Lord is whipping out behind right now. He's whipping us. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 28. Deuteronomy 28 and 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Our people are crazy. You won't listen to me? Okay, here you go. I'm going to smite you with madness. You are out of your mind. I'll smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. And thou, and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. And no man shall save thee. So even though it's, let's say it's noonday, the sun is out. But we're blind to who we are, who our God is, and what our culture is. What our heritage is. The instructions to give us blessings protection from the Lord. We are blind to that. So like a blind man gropes, we can't see, that's our people. That is our people. Right? Okay. Let's go to Deuteronomy 30 and 15. Deuteronomy 30 and 15. See, I have set before thee this day life and good and death and evil. Mm. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply. And the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land where thou goest to possess it. But 
If thine heart turn away so that thou wilt not hear, thou shalt be drawn away and worship other gods and serve them. An example of that today is Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, non-denominational, atheist, Republican, Democrat, Mother's Day, Father's Day, your birthday, if you serve other gods. I'll give an example of our people serving other gods and not the Lord, the Most High God. Verse 18, I denounce unto you this day that thou shalt surely perish and that ye shall not prolong your days upon the land whither thou passest over Jordan to go to possess it. Verse 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that thou, that both thou and thy seed may live. So the Lord warned us. He warned us. Um, hold this. Go to Sirach 15 and 7. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha chapter 15 verse 17 sorry Sirach 15 ver verse 17 it says before man is life and death and whether him liketh, and whether him liketh, shall be given him. Hmm. What does that mean? Hmm. Whatever decision you make to choose, you're going to get it. I'm going to read uh, Sirach 15 and 17 again. Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh, shall be given him. Hmm. Let's go to Romans 6, 23. Romans 6 and 23. So the Lord said, here, I'm giving you good blessings if you obey and keep my commandments or death. If you disobey, choose you. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. What is wages? It's your reward. It's what you get, what you earn. For the wages of sin is death. The wages, your reward for breaking the commandments is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You want to live? Keep the commandments of God in the faith of Christ. Hmm. Hold, hold your questions till the end of class. Write them down. Write them down. I'm going to read Romans 6.23 again. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What is sin? That's a question to everybody. What is sin? What is sin?
what is sin. Uh, let me see what you uh, explain it like you explain it to a child. I just saw one. <laughs> okay, I don't explain it like you're talking to, to a child. Re are very good. Explain it. What is sin? What is sin? I see a few. Um, correct. Okay, good, good. Let's go to scripture. First John three and four. Remember this, we answer all things with the scriptures, with God's words. First John 3 and 4, Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. Hmm. And you wonder why we are oppressed on the bottom, out of our mind, dealing with all kinds of issues, because we break God's laws. Even to this day, we break his laws. And you expect the Lord to bless you? Hmm. No, uh, again, as a good father, he punishes his children for disobeying him. That is sin. Back to Romans 6, 23. Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Mm. But the gift of God is eternal life. How do we get eternal life? Keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. But our people have been taught in the church, especially that the law has been done away with. But when we come to the truth, I keep uh, reading, keep the commandments, keep the commandments, keep the laws, keep the commandments, keep the commandments. Oh, let's see what Jesus said since, um, let's see, Matthew 19 and verse 16. Matthew 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Somebody's lying. God doesn't lie. Keep the commandments. That's what Christ said, the black Messiah. Keep the commandments. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Hold on a minute. So now here we are. Going through this oppression. 
um, especially during this time when you have COVID and the world's going crazy. They're going nuts. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. Go to Psalms 107 and verse, see what I want. Verse 10. Psalms 107, verse 10. Um, if one thing you will notice, you keep reading and studying the scriptures, the Bible is redundant. It says the same thing over and over again. The Bible doesn't contradict itself. There are no contradictions in the Bible. There's contradictions in a uh, people's brain, but not in the scriptures. Psalms 107 verse 10, such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. This explains our people. I'm going to read it again. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Let's go to uh, hold this. We're coming back here. Proverbs 4 and 19. Proverbs 4 and 19. We're coming back to Psalms. Proverbs 4th chapter, 19th verse. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. So darkness is sin. Go back to Psalms 107 verse 10 again. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. Verse 11, because they rebelled against the words of God and contemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore, he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there is none to help. Do you realize that um, we're supposed to be ruling the whole planet? And now where have we have jobs working for the enemy? When we were meant to rule, we're kings and princesses, royalty. Royalty, does, don't, they don't have jobs. Mm. Verse 13, when they cried unto the Lord <clears throat> in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands as in asunder. I'm going to read 14 again. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. The shadow of death. Hmm. Affliction. Slavery, captivity. Slavery and captivity. Think, think about this. Well, hold on a minute. Am I, uh, is the video frozen? Okay. Um, when we realize that we are royalty, that we were created to be royal, kings, priests, princesses on the earth, 
that every, everybody, every other nation is supposed to be working for us. Hmm. Okay, I'm good. Okay, all praises. Verse 15. Oh, that men sh would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the sons of, uh, to the children of men. For he had broken the gates of brass and cut their bars, cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools, verse 17, fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. You know what the Lord calls us? Fools. Fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquities are afflicted. Because of our sins, we are afflicted. Because we don't obey the Lord, we are afflicted. Verse 18. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Because we hate the wisdom given to us by the Lord. Look at us now. Verse 19. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. Verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Hmm. Let's go to Job. You know, the Lord's always, that has always saved us out of our troubles. Let's go to Job. Job 10 and 21. Job 10 and 21. Oh, you, man. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Job 10, 21. I'm going to read this first and go somewhere. Job 10, 21. Before I go uh, whence, I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. A land of darkness as darkness itself and of the shadow of death without any order and where the light is as darkness. Everything's out of order right now. Everything's out of course. It's out of order. Hold on. Because, oh man. Hold on a minute. Go to Isaiah 5 and 13. Isaiah 5 and 13. Wherefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude dried up with thirst. So, so it says, therefore, my people are gone into captivity, into slavery, because they have no knowledge. What's the knowledge? The law. The law. And their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Our leaders are famished. They have no knowledge to teach us. And a multitude dried up with thirst. This is talking about the Israelites. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure. And their glory and their multitude and their pomp. And he that rejoices shall descend into it. So captivity, slavery, is hell. Is hell. So we in hell right now? Yes. Have you seen the condition of our people? 
our neighborhoods, our health, our marriages, our families. We're in hell. Verse uh, 13. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity. Verse 14. Therefore, hell hath enlarged herself. Captivity, slavery is hell. That's hell. Who likes being a slave? We were we were created and meant to be rulers of the earth. So we grow up not knowing who we are with low self-esteem, not knowing that God is for us. He's our God only. Not knowing that. Not knowing that God only chose the Israelites. Mm. Man, oh man, y'all, if I, if y'all can see yourself in the scriptures, uh, I say this often, when you read the scriptures, see yourself in the scriptures because it's talking about you. You know, as a, um, this is a side note, growing up in a Christian church, I always wondered, is God talking about them dudes over there with them dirty black coats and funny hats and them little curls? Is he talking about them? Uh, really? Um, Something ain't right. So even in my ignorance, something wasn't right. Something wasn't right. Hmm. About, about what we are being taught in church and what's in the Bible. So, um, well, hold on a minute. Isaiah uh, 34 and 16. Isaiah 34 and 16. Hmm. Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What's the book of the Lord? The Bible. King James Version. King James Authorized Version. Not the NIV or all these other garbage. The King James Version Bible. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord, the book of the Lord and read. Hmm. None, uh, no one shall, uh, no one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded and his spirit it hath gathered them. This is the book of the Lord that he gave to the Israelites. The book of the Lord that he gave to the Israelites, the Israelites only. So, um, we were blind and the heavenly father is looking down. So, you know, there's a few that's going to stand with me. I'm going to wake them up. So what you're seeing today is the awakening of the Israelites. The enemy can't stop this. Remember during slavery, we were not allowed to read or write, especially the Bible, especially the Bible.
Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we can read now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the Lord said read, read, read. That's right, brother uh, Olada. I hope I'm. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Um. Hold on a minute. Uh, I'll get that later. Uh, let's go to Joe twenty-two and twenty-one. Joe twenty-two and twenty-one. Job 22 and 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold of Ophir as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver, which means riches. For then shalt thou have thy delight in the Almighty, and shalt lift up thy face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. You know, when we repent and turn to the Lord and keep his commandments and the faith of Christ, then he hears us, our prayers. And when the Lord hears our prayers, our cries, somebody's in trouble. These other nations are in trouble, especially Esau, especially. Verse 28, thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon thy ways and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Hmm. Let's go to um, Psalms 19 and 7. Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So the law of the Lord is perfect. There's nothing wrong with the God's laws. It's perfect. It's pure. Converting the soul. That's what changes us from being a street thug into a prophet, into a husband. from a whoremonger into a husband with a family of one wife. I had to put that in there. The husband of one wife. Um, from the sisters, from being strippers to being virtuous women in training. I'll just say that. virtuous women in training. It's about now being virtuous women in training. Hmm. Because the law convert us, changes us. It changes us. Uh, verse 
Throwing them. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, and the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The testimonies of our Lord are sure. Are sure. Not um, unstable, having doubt. They are sure, making wise the simple. When we keep God's laws, it gives us wisdom. Before that, we are simple. You know what simple means? Stupid. But by keeping God's laws, we get wisdom. Verse 8. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Enlightening the eyes. What does that mean, enlightening the eyes? That's a question for y'all. What What does that mean, enlightening the eyes? Enlightening the eyes. Um, enlightening the eyes. What does that mean? Remember the topic of the class. We can see clearly now. <laughs> oh, Brother Josiah, yes, yes, yes. Um, watch this. Go to Psalms thirteen and one. Psalms thirteen and one. Hmm. That's right. Psalms 13 and 1. How long wilt thou forget me, O Lord? Forever? How long wilt thou hide thy face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul and having, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord. My God, lighten mine eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say I have prevailed against him. And those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in thy mercy. My heart shall rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Oh, we're going to get more. Remember, uh, Psalms 19 and 8, it says, The statutes of the Lord are, sh are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Because remember, in the world, we, were, we are in darkness. We are blind to the truth. Hmm. Give me Proverbs. 6.23 Proverbs 6.23 Proverbs 6.23 For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life For the commandment is a lamp and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Uh, hold on a minute. Um, 
go to 2 Timothy 3 and 16. 2 Timothy 3 and 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for, re for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scripture. Not just the New Testament. All scripture. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, correction, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Verse 17, that the man of that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. How? Through the scriptures, through the commandments, through the laws that he may be perfect. Hmm. Let's see. Go to Psalms 119 and 105. Psalms 119 and 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Hmm. So through these scriptures, these scriptures, the commandments are light. So we can see the path in a dark place. Hmm. So we can see clearly now. Um, let's go to Ephesians 1 and 17. Ephesians 1 and 17. Hmm. Let me show y'all something. Ephesians 1 and 17. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling, and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Hmm. Verse 18 again, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened when you keep the commandments of God as it is written. Now how you want to keep them, but as it is written, that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. So here's an example. Well, in this truth, our eyes are not open now. So let's give an example. Remember you saw a movie in the world and you watch it again in this truth, what happens? What happens? You watch that same movie in the truth. What happens? Hmm. 
So just wait for wait for your responses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else? Hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. It registers. Yep. Yeah. Um. Where would it, brother Josiah City? Scriptures jump out. Yes. A new outlook. Biblical message. You get a different understanding. You see it differently. See a new light. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All that is correct. Why? Because your eyes are open now. You go out in the world and you see our people and you just shake your head. How far have we fallen? How far have we fallen? Um, you see something on the news. And what they're saying is wah, 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 wah. That's what they're saying, right? But you, you here, look, look, they're lying. They're lying. This is what's really going on. And you start to look. You start looking and you have your, now you can see, right? So, oh man, this world is jacked up. But out in the world, when you were in the world, you thought this was, um, what is it? The American dream. You thought this was the promised land. First of all, in order to dream, you gotta be asleep. And then you wake up through the script scriptures, says, this is a nightmare. I'm trying to keep up with uh keep up with the Joneses and all this American dream stuff. Nah. Until the Lord takes it from you. I'm gonna put myself out there. It was I was I was out in the world. You know, we had a nice house. Lord took it. And, and you know, here's the thing about that. Um, he took it, and I wasn't necessarily upset. But he took it. Oh, oh you still forgetting about me? Okay, I'm going to take your house. Oh, and by the way, something else, too. I'm going to take this, this, this from you. Now what? What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Wow. Uh, I'm going to take it all from you. And you know, uh, here's something else too. Uh, when I got my name changed from Nigga Coon Jenkins to Gabar Ben Israel, uh, the phone calls for jobs stopped. They stopped. Yeah, they stop. And you know, here's the devil. See, before you had your name change, people were calling. Companies were calling. But now you change your name, nobody's calling. So, here's the devil. Well, just use your slave name. I'm like, uh, no. I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go through this. And it's interesting. Um, this one company I was, I used to be at. I applied for a gaming license under my slave name. And 
I had to reapply for the license under my Hebrew name. And one of the workers, a heathen, said, who's this? Um, well, with my, my slave name, what, what it was. I said, no, that doesn't fit you. This one, Gabar does. A heathen. Hmm. Oh, you, you see the wickedness, right, in these movies, right? TV shows, shows you used to watch in the world, and you watch them now. It's like, what the hell is it? What? Why am I watching this? Why am I watching this? Um, because your eyes are open now. Uh, Ephesians 1 and verse 19. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power, and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that filleth all in all. It's only given to the Israelites. Only given to the Israelites. Verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 1. And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. I'm going to read it again. And you hath he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins quickened means change made alive but we were dead in our sins we are the we are the walking dead when we commit sin you ever see the, the zombie movies that made about us that's how we look um, just go, we have uh, the strip and Fremont. Fremont is worse. Lord have mercy. Uh, Fremont, I know it's advertised, you know, um, as this place you want to go. No, you don't. It's the underbelly. The worst of the worst. And you watch and you look at our people and like, man, oh man. This is the belly of the beast. Our brothers are out of order. Sisters dressed out of order. Um, but we're dead without the commandments that gives us life. We are spiritually dead without the commandments, without the scriptures, without Christ. Let me, look, let me look at his comments, some of these comments. Huh. Been in the church all these years and never knew I was asleep. Yes. All praise the most high. Yeah. You know, um, those of us that have left Christianity, the Christian church, we need to thank the Lord above for his grace and mercy to wake us up, especially now because time is short. 
I'm not, I'm not saying we know when Christ is going to return. We don't. We don't know. But what should be in your mind is if he were to return right now, where would I be? Where would I be? Meaning, will he say, well done, thy good and faithful servant? Or, depart from me, I never knew you. Hmm. Um, is everybody um having issues watching class? Like the video being frozen or anything else? I'm seeing um. Oh, God. Oh. Hold on a minute, y'all. What the hell, man? Y'all see what I see? There's always got to be one. Always got to be one. Anyway, back to the uh, fact of the matter. These scriptures. Um, go to Ephesians 4 and... Seventeen. Ephesians four and seventeen. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. When it says Gentiles here, it means Israelites living in Gentile customs. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. So us being enlightened through the scriptures shouldn't be walking like our people in the world because we can see clearly now we can read now we know who we are now we know who our god is our god you know that now let's go to um Baruch in the Apocrypha. Baruch 3 14. Let's go there first. Baruch 3 and 14. Learn where is wisdom, where is strength. Where is understanding that thou mayest know also where is length, the length of days and life? Where is the light of the eyes and peace? Where is it? In the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. Verse, uh, go to uh, Baruch 4. And verse... Let me see when I want to start. Twenty-one. Let's we'll start at twenty-one. Baruch four and twenty-one. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto the Lord, and He shall deliver you from the power and hand of the enemies. 
For my hope is in the everlasting, that he will save you, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but God will give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see shortly your salvation from our God, which shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the everlasting. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that is come upon you from God. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Read 25 again. My children suffer patiently. Suffer patiently. Hold this. Let's go to Acts 14 and 22. Acts 14 and 22. Remember, it says, suffer patiently. So there's going to be some suffering. But we have to go through it and take it with patience. Um, Acts 14, 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that ye must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. We have to go through tribulation. Let's go back to Baruch at 4 and 25. Baruch 4 and 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath which that is come upon you from God. For thy enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Suffer patiently. Patience of the saints. Suffer patiently. Hmm. Baruch 4 and 28 now. Baruch 4, 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him 10 times more. Seek him 10 times more. So for as hard we went in for sin in the world in our repentance seek the lord go in do the work of the lord 10 times more give him all you got because there's nothing else seek him 10 times more 10 times more Give it all to the Lord. I'm going to go back to verse 25 again, Baruch 4, 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from God. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly shalt thou, uh, thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Just be patient. Just be patient. Suffer patiently. We see the death around us. We see the shootings around us. God says suffer patiently. Suffer patiently. Mm. Man, oh man. 
uh, last scripture, Sirach 4 and 28. Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. We cannot forget that. The Lord said it, it will be done. Those are the promises that he's given to the Israelites. Give him all you got. That's the class. Any questions pertaining to class? Any questions pertaining to class? Oh, God. All praises to Most High. Right, brother, you are on Ruel. His word shall not return void. That's right. Um, learn. This question is, uh, what more can I study on in this truth? The commandments of God. The commandments, the high holy days, what they are, how to keep them. That's what you should uh, focus on now. Uh, all praise the most high. Yeah, man, that, that Baruch, Oof, Lord have mercy. There's more, but, you know, I had to cut it short. Uh, we have four chapters a day. Four chapters a day. Uh, uh, Brother Borican, you said your class got... Interrupted about 12 times? Wow, man, Facebook. Damn the devil. Damn. All praises, all praises. All praise. Um, oh, Brother Josiah, thank you. Thank you for scribing. Thank you for scribing, bro. Um, thanks for putting your brick in. All praises for you, Lord. Um, donate to the Booster Club. Don't forget to donate to the Booster Club. Um, so, Lord's will, when travel opens back up, the prophets can go back and continue the acts of the apostles. Send up the prayers for our leadership that the Lord will continue to give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding 
and teach us. Like some say they caught. Oh, okay, all right. Um, send up your prayers for all Israel that they may keep the commandments of God and the faith of Christ so we can get out of here. All right, so I don't see any other questions. I don't see any questions at all. Uh, thank you, Sister Pam. Yeah, that is the uh, email address of, what did I just say? Booster Club. That's the email for the Booster Club. Thank you, Sister Pam. All right. So all praise the most high. We made it through this class. Man, y'all have no idea. <laughs> but I love y'all. Love y'all. Shalom, most high Christ bless.